Kathy from Bow Photo Supplies and today we're going to do a photo shoot with an 8x10 camera and Impossible Project 8x10 film. Uh, we're going to show how the camera works and also how the processor works because 8x10 is a little bit different than doing the smaller format Impossible film and it can be quite creative and it's an interesting way to work. So we're going to just do a sheet on this old Polaroid 804 film, which is also black and white. The 8x10 film comes in two parts. So you have the negative, which is here in the part that goes in the camera. And then you have a positive, which is, for the Polaroid film, is the sheet of paper that the image goes onto after it's processed. So we'll need them both, but right now we don't need the positive, we just need the negative. So to load the sheet, you open up the film holder. It says this side up, you hook the top part on the orange tab. Make sure that the film is between the two blue lines. And you shut the holder on the film. And then you pull out the dark slide. So this will reveal the film, but there's a dark slide on the holder so the film won't be exposed. So it's ready to shoot. I'm sorry. I know I am shocking. Uh, five. It's about 5.6, which on this lens is actually wide open. So that's why the depth of field is going to be so shallow. It's a little over 5.6. Yeah. I have to uh, come here and set it and everything, so. Okay, I did that. Many steps to an 8x10. You have to remember to shut the lens before you put the film in. Everybody screws that up once in their life, don't worry. And make sure that the holders push down all the way. Nicole? Yeah. <laughs> then you lift up the dark slide. Yeah, okay. Yeah, your snout like that, perfect. Yeah, I think so. Now the dark side goes back in. It's a lot of work for one shot. It's not like digital. <laughs> you guys can move now, it's okay. And then we have to process it. So this is where you need the positive portion. So this is what the image will end up on. There's a little processing pack with chemicals in it up here. And that goes underneath here and in all the way. There. And this loads, this has got the negative that we just took the picture on, loads up here like that. This particular processor, um, the button is stuck, so you have to plug it in <laughs> to make it go. And it's just going to suck the, all of this, put them together through the roller, squish the chemicals, and the image will end up on this side. Hopefully, if all goes properly. Which it did. 
it makes a certain noise. You can hear it go through and then lump, and then the spinning changes, the sound changes, and now we have to wait. I think this is, well, it says 45 seconds, but it's old film, so I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. Are you hot under there? Uh, so in here, now the difference between the old Polaroid film and the new Impossible Project film is if this were the Impossible Project, this layer is actually transparent and this would be your image. But as it is with the Polaroid, you have to peel it apart, which is actually quite fun. You if you get something, it's fun. If you don't get something, it's just sad. <laughs> it's not bad. I'd like to see the background a bit lighter and uh, you a bit lighter. I, see, I feel like I could be a bit lighter. But it's old film and sometimes the exposure is really a bit dark. challenging. The impossible yeah. film is really light. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's funny though. So, shall we try an impossible project film now? Sure. You need to check the rollers after every shot. I'm going to just give those a quick light. It leaks chemistry all over the place, so it has to be kept clean. Oops. Open the film holder. on the orange part. Just make sure it's between the blue lines so it doesn't get stuck. And pull the dark slide. Okay, now we're ready to shoot. So I'm loading the film. So I won't be able to see you through the camera anymore. So hopefully you're in the same spot. I'm gonna pull out the dark slide. Okay, so uh, move your hand up a little. Yeah. And then I uh, yeah, and then a little with your chin, yeah, and move your, Nicole, move your snout up just a little bit. But uh, get a little bit closer to her. Yeah, and then you be having your eyes over like that. Yeah, not too much, but yeah. Good. You want to go down, right? Kneel. Oh, yeah, kneel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, but look over at her. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Thank you. You can move. <laughs> okay. No, we're open that one. So, the Impossible Project film is a little bit different than the old Polaroid because the receiving layer is transparent. So when we once we put it in here, we can't open it as it's processing or it'll fog. And you need to keep these surfaces really, really clean. You load the sheet in, you load the film, which is what we just shot into here. And plug it in to make it go because this processor has a broken button. So it sucked it through on this side and now we wait. And this one we have to wait probably three or four minutes actually. Na -na -na. Does it work? Yes. Oh, it did. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. The exposure's really good. The exposure's pretty good, yeah. That's a really good exposure. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. So it's and quite the circle right on my eye. It's quite different than the Polaroid film with all the different marks and sort yeah. of flaws in it, but yeah. I kind of like that about it. No, yeah. I